Hello everyone, I'm Swati. I'm here with my next video that is video lesson number 6 on the chapter decimal. In this video, we are going to solve different types of problems based on decimals. So let's start. The first question is the product of two numbers is 2.4624. If one of the number is 0 0.57, then find the other. What is given a student? The product of two number, the product of two number that is 2.4624. If one of the number is 0 0.57, one of the number is 0 0.57, find the other. We have to find the other number. The student, if product of two number is 20 and one of the number is 4, then how we find the other number? Yes, by dividing the product by one of the number that is 20 divided by 4, we get 5. Similarly, let the other number be x. It means x multiplied with one of the number 0 0.57 is equal to the product of the number that is 2.4624. What we have to find out? We have to find out the value of x. So, 0 0.57 is in multiplication in this side so when we change the side it goes in division so it becomes x is equal to 2.4624 divided by 0 0.57 and when we divide 2.4624 by 0 0.57 we get the result 4.32 hence the other number b 4.32 okay what is given the product of two number is given and one of the number is given and we have to find the other number so we divide the product by the first number and we get the other number the second question is if a pair of socks cost rupees 17.85 and a pair of shoes cost rupees 169.65 then how many sets of socks and shoes can be purchased for rupees 1500 ok what is given a student cost of one pair of socks that is 17.85 cost of one pair of shoes that is 169.65 so first we find cost of one set of socks and shoes it means cost of one pair of socks and one pair of so shoes that is one pair cost of one pair of socks 17.85 and cost of one pair of shoes that is 169.65 by adding the cost we get the cost of one set of socks and shoes is equal to 187.50 rupees 187.50 it means in 187.50 we can purchase one set of socks and shoes now then how many set of socks and shoes can be purchased for rupees 1500 what is the total amount available for purchasing the socks and shoes? 1500. What we have to find out? We have to find out how many sets of socks and shoes. It means number of sets we have to find out. So number of sets is equal to total amount that is 1500 by price of one set of socks and shoes. What is the total amount? Yes, 1500 divided by price of one set of socks and shoes that is rupees 187.50 when we divide 1500 by 187.50 we get 8 it means hence in 1500 rupees we can purchase 8 sets of socks and shoes. Okay? 
what is given cost of one pair of shoes and one pair of socks is given and the total amount is rupees 1500 what we have to find out we have to find out how many set of socks and shoes can be purchased in this amount so what we do first we find the total cost of one set of socks and shoes that is 187.50 it means in this amount we can purchase one set of socks and shoes so for finding the number of sets what we do total amount divided by pair of one set of socks and shoes and we get the number of set is equal to 8 okay the third question is anjali bought 3.5 meter of cloth 3 meter of a dress material which cost rupees 110.80 per meter if she gave a 500 rupees note to the shopkeeper, then how much money will she get back? Okay. What is given here, student? Cost of 1 meter of dress material is equal to 110.80. So, how many meters of cloths see about? 3.5 meter. So, cost of 3.5 meter of cloth dress material is equal to 3.5 into 110.80. By multiplying 3.5 with 110.80, we get rupees 332.40. It means the total cost of 3.5 meter of dress material is 332.40. Now, if she gave a 500 rupees note to the shopkeeper, then how much money will she get back? she gave 500 rupees to the shopkeeper then how much amount will she get back so amount c get back is equal to how much money she gave to the shopkeeper 500 and what is the cost of 3.5 meter of cloth 332.40 so after subtracting c get amount 167.60 rupees okay the shopkeeper return 167.60 rupees to anjali okay that's all for today Hope you are all understand that how we solve different types of problems based on decimals. Okay. Thank you and have a wonderful day.